A patient who has been on long-term corticosteroid therapy has had surgery to correct an abdominal hernia. The nurse keeps in mind that which potential effect of this medication may have the most impact on the patient's recovery? A. Hypotension B. Delayed wound healing C. Muscle weakness D. Osteoporosis. Answer. B. Delayed wound healing rationale. Muscle weakness and osteoporosis may also result from long-term therapy, but delayed wound healing would have the most impact on the patient's recovery from abdominal surgery at this time. Hypertension, not hypotension, may result from long-term corticosteroid therapy. A glucocorticoid is prescribed for a patient. The nurse checks the patient's medical history knowing that glucocorticoid therapy is contraindicated in which disorder? A. Cerebral edema B. Peptic ulcer disease C. Tuberculous meningitis D. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease Answer. B. Peptic ulcer disease rationale. Contraindications to the administration of glucocorticoids include drug allergy and may include cataracts, glaucoma, peptic ulcer disease, mental health problems, and diabetes mellitus. The other options are indications for glucocorticoids. When monitoring a patient who is taking a systemically administered glucocorticoid, the nurse will monitor for signs of which condition? A. Dehydration B. Hypokalemia C. Hyponatremia D. Hypoglycemia. Answer. B. Hypokalemia rationale. Systemic glucocorticoid drugs may cause potassium depletion, hyperglycemia, and hypernatremia. The other options are incorrect. The nurse is reviewing therapy with glucocorticoid drugs. Which conditions are indications for glucocorticoid drugs? Select all that apply. A. Glaucoma B. Cerebral edema C. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma D. Organ TR answer plantation E. Varicella F. Septicemia. Answer. B. Cerebral edema C. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma D. Organ TR answer plantation rationale. Cerebral edema, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma. And organ TR answer plantation are indications for glucocorticoid therapy. Glaucoma, varicella, and septicemia are all contraindications to glucocorticoid therapy. A patient is taking fludrocortisone, fluoronef, for Addison's disease, and his wife is concerned about all of the problems that may occur with this therapy. When teaching them about therapy with this drug, the nurse will include which information? A. It may cause severe postural hypotension. B. It needs to be taken with food or milk to minimize gastrointestinal upset. C. The medication needs to be stopped immediately if nausea or vomiting occurs. D. Weight gain of 5 pounds or more in one week is an expected adverse effect. Answer. B. It needs to be taken with food or milk to minimize gastrointestinal upset. Rationale. Patients receiving fludrocortisone need to take it with food or milk to minimize gastrointestinal upset. Weight gain of 5 pounds or more in one week needs to be reported to the physician. Abrupt withdrawal is not recommended because it may precipitate an adrenal crisis. Adverse effects are related to the fluid retention and may include heart failure and hypertension. A patient is concerned about the body changes that have resulted from long-term prednisone therapy for the treatment of asthma. Which effect of this drug therapy would be present to support the nursing diagnosis of disturbed body image? A. Weight loss B. Weight gain C. Pale skin color D. Hair loss. Answer. B. 
Weight gain rationale, facial erythema, weight gain, hirsutism, and moon face characteristic of Cushing syndrome are possible body changes that may occur with long-term prednisone therapy. A patient will be starting therapy with a corticosteroid. The nurse reviews the patient's orders and notes that an interaction may occur if the corticosteroid is taken with which of these drug classes? A. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs B. Antibiotics C. Opioid analgesics D. Antidepressants Answer A. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs rationale the use of corticosteroids with aspirin, other NSAIDs, and other ulcerogenic drugs produces additive gastrointestinal effects and an increased chance for the development of gastric ulcers. The other options are incorrect. The nurse is administering adrenal drugs to a patient. Which action by the nurse is appropriate for this patient? A. Administering oral drugs on an empty stomach to maximize absorption B. Rinsing the oral cavity after using corticosteroid inhalers C. Administering the corticosteroids before bedtime to minimize adrenal suppression D. Discontinuing the medication immediately if weight gain of 5 pounds or more in one week occurs. Answer B. Rinsing the oral cavity after using corticosteroid inhalers rationale. After the patient has used the corticosteroid inhalers. Cleaning the oral cavity helps to prevent possible oral fungal infections from developing. Adrenal drugs need be taken with meals to minimize gastrointestinal upset and in the mornings to minimize adrenal suppression, and they need to be discontinued by weaning, not abruptly. The nurse expects that a patient is experiencing under secretion of adrenocortical hormones when which conditions are found upon assessment. Select all that apply. A. Dehydration B. Weight loss C. Steroid psychosis D. Increased potassium levels E. Increased blood glucose levels F. Decreased serum sodium levels. Answer. A. Dehydration B. Weight loss D. Increased potassium levels F. Decreased serum sodium levels rationale. The under secretion, hyposecretion, of adrenocortical hormones causes a condition known as Addison's disease, which is associated with decreased blood sodium and glucose levels. Increased potassium levels, dehydration, and weight loss. Steroid psychosis is an effect of glucocorticoid excess. During long-term corticosteroid therapy, the nurse will monitor the patient's lab results for adverse effects such as select all, A increased serum potassium levels B decreased serum potassium levels C increased sodium level D decreased sodium level E hyperglycemia F hypoglycemia Answer. B. Decreased serum potassium levels C. Increased sodium level E. Hyperglycemia. The teaching is appropriate for a patient who is taking an inhaled glucocorticoid for asthma. A. Exhale while pushing in on the canister of the inhaler. B. Blow your nose after taking this medication. C. Rise your mouth thoroughly after taking this medication. D. Do not eat immediately after taking this medication. Answer. C. Rise your mouth thoroughly after taking this medication and teaching a patient who has been prescribed a daily dose of prednisone, deltasone. The nurse knows that the patient will be told to take the medication at which time of day to help reduce adrenal suppression. A. In the morning B. Lunch time C. Dinner time D. At bedtime. Answer. A. In the morning during the corticosteroid therapy, the nurse will monitor the patient for Cushing's syndrome which is manifested by a weight loss B moon face C hypotension D. Thickened hair growth.
Answer. B. Moon Face Nurse has provided teaching about oral corticosteroid therapy to a patient. Which statement by the patient shows a need for more teaching? A. I will report any fever or sore throat symptoms. B. I will stay away from anyone who has a cold or infection. C. I can stop medication if I have severe adverse effects. D. I will take this drug with food or milk. Answer. C. I can stop medication if I have severe adverse effects. When monitoring for a therapeutic response to aminoglutathamide, the nurse will look for which potential outcomes. A. Increase in Cushing syndrome characteristics. B. Decreased in Cushing syndrome characteristics. C. Increased lymphocyte levels. D. Growth suppression. Answer. B. Decreased in Cushing syndrome characteristics.